Let's look at the 2024 Higher Admin and IT Assignment. Now this one was based on the Kilcarthy Pipe Band and it's always important to read the assessment task. It will tell you what the scenario is. It will tell you who you are, who you're working for and if there are dates in there that might be important for task later on. There's also a to-do list. You'll see there on the right hand side that you can tick as you go along. And you'll also see here, I'm showing you the, the e-files for this assignment. The first one, the PowerPoint, the award ceremony. There's three Excel spreadsheets to work on. There's a pipe band logo that might end up, well, usually it ends up actually in a, a database form or report, perhaps a Word document. And we've got um, a database called Members and we've got two Word documents. So let's now look at the first task. Now task one is worth four marks and it's a database form. And I would suggest before you even go into the first task is open up the tables in the database and it's the database called members and just have a good look at each table, what's in them and how they're connected together. So if we open up first of all the hires table, and you'll see there, we've just got some, well, there's instrument ID and there's a hire fees, a yes, no field, uh, a date, I guess, of instruments hired. Looking at the instruments, that tells you for each instrument ID what the actual instrument type is. And you'll see there, there's an annual hire cost and then there's the value of each uh, piece of equipment. And the third table is all the members. And you'll see there, this is quite a big table. I'm just gonna scroll along. And it tells us, you know, personal details and also instrument played and category and comments you'll see there and then whether or not they've got their own instrument. If you want to see how they're linked together, it's worth going into database tools and into relationships and you will see how they are connected together. There's two tables, one to many relationships. So this means that we can pull down any forms or for queries or reports. We can use all three tables because they're linked together. So the first thing we'll do is go into create and then into form wizard. That's the easiest way to do it. We know from the instructions that we have to, from the, the members table, we do need the um, first name, and the surname of each uh, member. It says all the fields from the hires. So we'll just drop down to the hires table. We can use the double arrows there to bring the whole lot across. And then finally, it asks us to bring across the instrument type. So from the instrument table, the instrument type. So there's all the fields we need to create the form with subform. When we click on next, you'll see that's how it's going to look, which is what we want. And selected there already is form with subform. So that is what we need to, to go forward. Click on next, we'll just keep it as a data sheet. And then on next, we would ask to give it a suitable title. It's shown just members. This is where we could change it. And in fact, um, the SQA um, solutions is saying that they've called this um, instrument hires. That was the title they gave. Anything suitable would be accepted. And then we're going to finish. And here we're going to see that we have now the, the form. Now, one thing I have noticed is I can't actually see all the fields in the subform. And before we print it off, we need to make sure we can see that. How could we sort that out? Well, I think maybe the easiest way is going into view and change it to layout view. We'll just close the field list down there. Click on the, the sort of subform part of it, and then we can you know stretch out to make sure that we have all the fields uh, visible like that. All right, once we're happy with that, we can go back into the form view and we have to now insert the information for William McLaren. Well, where is he? The quickest way to find this person is go down into the search box. And if I just type in, uh, start typing in William, well, even W actually um, is bringing up the correct person. So we have a few bits of information from the question that we know of, that um, it is instrument IDs hiring is uh, BP13. So I'm just gonna type in 
BP13. You'll notice member ID has popped up automatically. The hire ID is 33. We know that he's paid the, the hire fee. And in fact, as we click out of BP13, the instrument type bagpipe has already been populated into the, the field there. And the hire date is saying it's the 21st of April, 24. Either use the date picker or just type in the, the date yourself, whatever um, you prefer. OK, so that's all the information in there. The only other thing we need to do is we do need to um, insert the logo uh, into the the form header. So to do that, I'll go into view and then design view. All right. And the, the, the I think personally speaking, the, the best way to uh, to do this, go into form design is to insert image from here. So click on that and obviously we have to browse to find our actual logo. So here's the logo. Click on the logo. Click on OK. And then I'm just going to, with my mouse, just really stretch out where I want the logo to go. I can view it just to see what it looks like. I mean, if I'm being a bit pernickety, I'd maybe want to align the, the form header a bit better. So I'll go back into my uh, into my design view. One thing I can do actually is is maybe just um, center this a bit better or sort of move it down like that. And then this one here, I think if I move it to the, the edge of the, the, the design there and have a little look. And I think that is fine. So that is how we tackle task one, which is the form uh, from the database tables. And actually, one thing I've just noticed there that uh, before I was printing that off, I'm showing Brian Young at the moment. I better go back and just make sure that we've got the right record. Will McLaren. And of course, if we are going to print this off, remember, it would be file, then print, click on print, and you'd have to make sure that you click on the selected record before you OK and print that off. So that's task one complete.